Saturday, 10 o'clock in the morning, and it is the 21st of March. Now, yesterday it was um, rain. It really was. And I thought, what a great day to go and have a look at some roofing and just try and show how um, plain clay tiles work. Now, when I was at college, we had an excellent tutor who explained quite easily the way that tiling works. And he basically says, you've got to have three layers, the top layer, the middle layer, and the bottom layer. The top layer will leak, the second layer will shed, and the bottom layer will protect. And that's basically damn good advice. Because if you try and lay tiling on one layer, it'll leak. If you put two, it might just about work. But if you've got three layers always overlapping, overlapping each other, like I'll show you on the video, then um, the roof will probably work quite well. Now, um, I was hoping when I got there that it would still be raining. But as always, it wasn't. And it cleared up by the time I got to this little roof. And, um, and I was hoping to show water actually flowing across the roof and down through the cracks and then onto this, the, uh, the, the middle layer tiles. But it wasn't, and it was a nice day at the end of it, so I didn't manage it. But I hope this will at least excite your interest and um, do a bit of research on tiling. I find it fascinating, and um, the many a clay tile roof, I love it. I think they're a wonderful material. Um, as always, can you see that? Oops, the wrong way around. Pure Roofing by Marley. Probably one of the best technical books on pitched roofing there is. Um, everything you'll want to know is in here from the tail, the, the, <laughs> the tile nails, the, uh, the clips that you use if you're into clips. Um, if you're into slating, it's the same principles, but obviously a different material and you'll need slate tiles and slate nails and everything else. Battens, batten sizing, underlays, um, batten sizing. Now the batten sizing is um, BS5634. Now it's all in there. Unfortunately, it's not free. You've got to go and buy the damn thing, but it's still um, uh, an excellent document to go and get. Um, and flashings and weatherings and soakers and just about everything else you'll want to know about, including the mortar and mortar types, because don't forget, Clay tile roofs do require a mortar siding on it um, quite often. So that's it really. Go and get this book. It is very good. Um, and you can see in here, you know, all the tiles are there. Everything you want is in there. The sizes, the pitches, the very special tiles you can get for tile hanging. I just love this book. It's really good. So sit back and enjoy and um, hopefully um, it'll incite you to go and do a bit of research onto clay tiling. As always, walk out, go and have a look at roofs and see how they're done. In this particular case, it's the edge of a very short little roof. And you'll see that all of I'm talking about covering the gaps between the tiles, on this particular one, it hasn't been done very well. And you can see that the, the, the gap is right next to the gap of the underlying tile. It still works because there is a third layer underneath always protecting. But um, go and have a look, walk about, study a roof, make notes, and then understand why it works. Excellent. Oh, by the way, if you get a chance, go and find if you can see if you can find this one. It is another Marley product, the same as these people, Marley turn it, but this is the small version, and it's quite a useful hand handbook to keep around. It's got all the stuff that's in the big book, but it's been concise and put up and everything is in there. I really like this book. Larger pictures of that and if you go onto the website you'll find application forms and all sorts of stuff to um, uh, to get these sort of things. I mean this is absolutely a brilliant little book. Anyway, hope the video is okay. It was taken on my iPhone. Now my iPhone is reasonably good but the portrait of it, I did it in portrait and it's come out um, a little shaky and a little dark it was not raining, but it was quite dark. So um, bear with it. Um, the information is there. Look and see what you can find. Have a great day. Sunday, we're out shopping, tip, everything. 
don't know what else to do, but it's a lot of work to do today. So enjoy this and I'll speak to you soon. Understanding how tiling works is quite interesting. Now if there is just one course all the way up, you'll see that there is a gap just in between the tiles. So therefore water would drop down through it. So there must be one underneath to divert that water that drops through out onto the tile. And you can see that by that tile there, diverts the water that comes through this area here from the, uh, the two tiles. So the water going through hits the tile underneath and comes out and it acts all the way down. So therefore you can see there is always three tiles. The top course, the underscore and the bottom tile always draining out the water onto the roof above. This is a good way of seeing it. Here you can see that the tiling has been thrown away from the main course of brickwork which goes out into the gutter. 